Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book, Modifying the Aerodynamics of Your Road Car. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about the book, how it came about, and why I think it'll be of interest to you. First, a bit about me. I've been modifying the aerodynamics of my own road cars for many, many years, probably something like 30 years. And over that time, I've done numerous different modifications, under trays, rear wings, uh, changing the flow through intercoolers and oil coolers, adding separation edges, almost every modification that you can make to a road car. Now, when I first started doing that, I thought I really need to be able to test what I'm doing. I really need to be able to see the airflow. So the very first thing I did was to wall tuft a car and then video it. And I can remember my absolute horror when, when the wall tuft showed there was flow separation at the, the top of the roof, at the back of the roof. This was on a sedan and the whole back of the car was just this massive separated turbulent airflow. So it was very much an eye-opening exercise. Time passed and I thought, gee, it would be good if you could measure pressures on the surface of the body. And so I started doing that. I developed techniques that would allow you to measure pressures, aerodynamic pressures, on your car as you are driving along. And of course, that lets you see which panels are developing lift and which panels are developing downforce and so on. Then I thought, gee, it'd be good if I could also measure lift and downforce. And I developed techniques to measure ride height that would allow you to precisely measure that. Now over this time, I was writing articles for online magazines and print magazines, and I thought it would be really good to put a lot of this in a book. <clears throat> I've got a lot of books on, on aerodynamics. None of them cover modification of road cars for people who want to modify their own cars, people who want to work at home, normal people. There are just no books on that topic. So I resolved to write one. But I was always conscious that I'm not a professional aerodynamicist. I'm an interested, enthusiastic amateur. And so I approached a professional aerodynamicist, R.H. Barnard, better known as Dick Barnard. Now, Dick has worked as a professional aerodynamicist, as an academic aerodynamicist. He's worked as a consultant to Bentley, a consultant to Jaguar. And he's also written his own book on road car aerodynamics, a very, very good book. And much to my absolute delight, he agreed to come on board as a technical consultant. So I could run the stuff I was writing past him and he could run his professional eye over it. As the book progressed, I also approached a few other people and asked if they'd give feedback. And one of those was Adrian Gaylard, who's the head of aerodynamics at Jaguar Land Rover. He was brilliant in terms of giving feedback to me, and he also made available some of the technical material that's been published on Jaguar Aerodynamics that I could add to all the other technical material that I was reading. In fact, I read over 60 SAE papers, and I read all of the textbooks, including one whole shelf behind me here in my library that's devoted to that particular topic. I also approached a few other people, Professor Joe Katz, Professor of Aerospace, and also the author of some very good books on car aerodynamics. He gave me feedback, and also Willem Toet, a Formula One aerodynamicist, was happy to give me feedback as well. Now, it's still my book, um, and if there are any mistakes, they're my responsibility, not the responsibility of those other people, but it certainly gave me a lot of reassurance to have that quality of feedback in terms of what I was writing, what I was describing. So what do I describe in the book? Well, the book is really aimed at normal people who want to make modifications to their cars. And there are two very large chapters in the book. One is on reducing drag, and one is on reducing lift and improving stability. And as those names suggest, I cover a range of techniques in those chapters that can achieve those outcomes. There are test results, there are measurements, there is flow testing, there is pressure measurement, there is fuel economy testing. It's quite rigorously done, so it's not just rules of thumb and it's not just, oh, I made some changes and I hope that they work. I also covered in the first chapter a chapter of theory, stuff that you really need to know if you're going to be able to understand what follows subsequently. Things like what is a boundary layer, things like what is attached flow, what is separated flow, and so on. In the second chapter, I had a lot of fun. I've done a second chapter on aerodynamically significant cars that have ever been produced. The Plymouth Superbird is in there. Uh, the EV1 from GM is in there. The Volkswagen XL1 is in there, and a lot of other cars. And I've seen nearly all of those cars in the flesh. It's my photography that's in that chapter, and that's always been a wonderful thing to be able to see, see those incredible cars. 
I've also got a chapter on reducing aerodynamic noise with some practical uh, projects that have actually been carried out both by me and both by other people that I was able to draw upon. The book is packed with information. Oh, another chapter on improving flow through heat exchangers, intercoolers, oil coolers, things of that sort. The book is packed with information. It's written in a readily accessible way. It is not written as an engineering mathematical treatise. It is written for normal people who want to be able to make modifications to their car to improve the outcome. And every technique described in the book, I've done myself on road cars of my own. The aerodynamic under tray, for example, was done on my little Honda. It's an under tray that develops real measurable downforce at only 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour. And as you go faster, boy, does the car ever feel planted. It's just amazing what you can achieve working with simple hand tools uh, in a home garage in terms of the aerodynamic outcome. I recommend the book to you. I think it's probably the only book that I've seen which is aimed at normal people who want to modify their car aerodynamically. And as I say, I had some very expert advice along the way, which was hugely valuable to me. I was also able to draw on people who've made aerodynamic modifications to their own cars. People supplied photos and descriptions and measurements of what they'd, they'd achieved. And I was absolutely delighted to be able to include some of that in the book as well. The book's called Modifying the Aerodynamics of Your Road Car, and I really recommend it to you. Thank you.